Magnus Carlsen has played first move h4 against Alir Zafiroja in title Tuesday. Let's see how did it go. h4, a6. Probably here Alireza wanted to troll as well Magnus as Magnus started playing with h4. e4, b5. They play out of control. They're probably trolling each other. d4, bishop b7, bishop d3. Well, here after e6 and knight on f3, Magnus has better position because his pawns are centralized and well developed, even though he started playing with h4, which was a bad move for him. c5, c3, protecting pawn on d4, knight on f6, and queen e2, protecting e4 pawn, and probably idea of developing king's side, x, x, and knight c6. Uh, Alirza has to develop his spaces, otherwise Magnus is literally taking whole center. Knight c3, knight g4. Knight g4 was not great move for Alireza, he should have just played bishop e7, but still, after d5, Magnus is conquering whole center, so Alireza does not have as many other options. Knight g4 and bishop on f4. Probably he wanted to play d5 again and just cut the pieces of uh, legs. Knight b4 and bishop e1. It's important to remain this light squared bishop, that's why Magnus played bishop e1. h5. I don't know what was the point of h5, probably wanted to create something, maybe g6, develop dark squared bishop. I, I think Alureza is just in panic because his position is really bad, even though Magnus started playing with h4. h5 and castle. Well, yeah, Magnus does not have anything to lose just with castling, because he needs all pieces to come into, into the game. d5 and e5. Uh, well. Uh, Black has no other options. Bishop e7 would be great as well, but it's still Magnus has plus one. d5 and e5. Bishop e7 and g3. And uh, g3 is uh, normal because it protects on h4 pawns, so that's why Magnus probably played it. Queen b6 and king g2. Developing king and all of the pieces. s6 and queen d2 and rook c8. Seems like kind of error just arrived. But still, he has to still develop his pieces. Knight g4 is stuck, he has to castle, so Magnus has extra tempos. Knight on e2. Instead of knight e2, it would be much better bishop g5 to somehow trade and probably take with h pawn to attack pawn on h5. Or if he would castle, probably bishop g6 attacking side. But when knight e2 is also logical to protect pawn on d4, queen on a5, and queen d1. Uh, well, Magnus is avoiding to trade uh, queens because he needs his queen to attack uh, Black's king. So he could also play queen d3, which would be protective compared to queen d1. g6 and a3. They're trying to suffocate Black's queen side in order to get more activity after b4 and etc. Queen b6 and bishop d3. I don't understand the point of bishop d3. Probably he wanted to develop his another rook, but I think idea of knight g5 would be great. Or maybe queen d3, and I g5, queen d3, maybe sacrifice it. But, um, well, he played here bishop d3, which is seems logical also because if you want to attack your opponent, you need to use all of your pieces. King on f8, queen d2, king g7, and bishop g5. Just simply trading these bishops and uh, uh, use black's uh, uh, dark squared weaknesses. Take, take, queen d8 and queen f4. Now, queen f4 seems logical, probably to look after f6 square, but queen d2 would be also a great move. Queen e7 and knight g5. Here, Bagus is attacking king side and he also threatens f3 and probably g4 to open a file. Knight on a5, f3 and g4. Exactly what happened. The idea was to start attacking on king side and all of these pieces are already working for Magnus. That's why he already gets winning position, b3, just simply pushing knight out of c4 square, and rook b1, just easy move to protect b3, and queen on a3 is not hanging because here just queen on f6, and um, she takes h5, and it's absolutely winning. So here was playing a g8, king g3, rook on f8, and queen d2. The idea of queen d2 is to simply take knight on a5. And now, uh, all pieces are on king side for black, so now Magnus is trying to play on queen side. A knight on f4, bishop c8, and rook bc1, using another rook in order to start attacking better. Knight d4 and queen c3. 
Well, as I said before, Aliras is already uh, doubting in his position because uh, since uh, h4 and this like crazy variation played by Magnus, he probably got confused, even though he started trolling as well. The show this would be interesting, but this idea after taking and take here and this would be just bring like a bigger damage. So that's why he took on d4, which is also a mistake because here is queen c3, activate uh, the queen and uh, attack the knight on d4, which becomes stuck. Takes and well, instead of bishop g6, actually queen c7 would be really interesting because a black is forced to trade and now knight g6 is hanging, yeah, rook can't move because rook on f7 is hanging, so many things are hanging here. Bishop g6 uh, takes, takes, brilliant move. Well, queen c7 would be great, but this one is great because white needs to develop a file in order to attack better black knight on h6, knight on h5, knight on f6, knight on h5 and trade probably magnus wanted to win on time because he was down on time knight on a2, king g2, knight c1 and queen c1 instead of queen c1 here was checkmate in 6 and of course in 8 seconds it's really hard to see but let's see how Magnus should have checkmated. Bishop on h7 takes. These moves are forced. Knight on f6, king g7, knight on e6, f takes e6, knight on h5, uh, either king g6 or king on h8. After king on h8, here is rook on f8 and then checkmate. And if instead of king on h8, you would play here king g6, there is queen on e6, and checkmate with queen. So that's how Magnus would win easily, but well, it was 8 seconds, so probably uh, for him calculation... Well, uh, for Magnus calculation is not hard, but still, it's so much pressure when you play leads and very short time and also many games before it might be easy to just simply take this knight, which is absolutely winning as well. 24, knight on f6, and yeah, bishop f7, and knight on e6, and here like after king g6, h5, and if he takes the Irish checkmate, so that's how Magnus won the game and as we said Magnus started playing with h4 which is super unusual and usually people don't play it especially they don't play it over the board but uh, well it happens when in a speed chess uh, it this kind of uh, like openings happen so it really should not make you confused because that's how it happened for Aliras even though h4 at the beginning was really bad start and it's question mark already for white because after d5 and c5 black just simply gets a centralized pawns activity which uh, what black usually want to get so that's why h4 is mistake here but probably Viroja just got really confused but um, that's psychological factor so if you get this kind of game don't get confused try to use uh, basic principles of openings and then you won't lose like that or at least you will play better game but everything happens but if you liked the video make sure to give thumbs up and subscribe for more